Hey guys, um, James here with a video um, on different test kits for you guys here. Um, I've been, since entering the hobby, I've been doing the API uh, master, saltwater master test kit and the reef master test kit. Um, after using those products, I've been told and been reading up that they're not really accurate, that they're the cheap brand and people really don't recommend using them um, so as I've been going I've been looking at other products I know so far has a good one um, and Red Sea is another good uh, product to use the there's other digital test kits and stuff out there as well that I hear are really good with the HANA um, test kits so I picked up myself a Red Sea Reef Foundation Pro test kit and their dosing elements A, B, and C. So um, figured I'll do a side by side comparison. Now this won't be a true comparison because um, the re the APIs have more tests than I do with the Red Sea right now. So what I'm going to be testing with on the API side is I'm going to like I said, I use their saltwater master test kit and their reef master test kit. And the saltwater test kit comes with, here, let me show you guys. Uh, comes with pH ammonia nitrite nitrate. So those are the four elements that the saltwater master API test kit tests for. And then with the reef master test kit, it tests phosphate, calcium, and the carbon hardness or the alkalium. It also tests nitrate as well, but uh, I don't see the point in testing that twice using API. Now, the refoundation test kit will test for magnesium. As you see, the API does not have a test for that in this kit. Calcium. So I'll be comparing the two calcium and the KH or the alkalium. Again, that's another one I compare between the API and the Red Sea. So as you can see here, guys, I got the five milliliters test kit filled with my tank water for the API. Okay, and now the Red Sea is a little different the magnesium as you can see here i'll pull up the little quick guide magnesium we need a two milliliters so i have two milliliters of water in there the calcium five milliliters i have five milliliters in there and the uh, alkalium 10 milliliters and 10 milliliters in there. Now, one thing that's nice about the Red Sea is it comes with this uh, syringe that does up to 10 milliliters. So this is what you would use to pull your tank water out uh, and put in the vial. So the, the directions are pretty clear. You just pull it all the way up and then that black plunger needs to go to the line you need. Uh, as you can see here, they're all even numbers. So of course the five milliliters would be in the middle between the four and the six milliliters. So I'm gonna test and I'll come back with you guys with the results. All right guys, quick update why I got about 20, 30 seconds left on the APIs. Here's, as you can see my colors. Um, I wanna show you the calcium and the Echolium now before they like separate and so especially the calcium so as you can see here it's a light blue I had uh, 18 drops in which uh, according to the API chart 18 is 360 and I put 11 of these uh, in so again according to the API site 11 Oops, sorry that's so here we go 11 
drops is also 11 dkh or 196.9 parts per million so that's where I'm at with the calcium and the dkh on the API now I'm gonna test for the other elements and my time's up on those and now I'll test with the Red Sea I'll bring you guys back on alright guys here's the magnesium test on the system Let's bring you guys in it looks like it's a uh, 23 5.3 so that is extremely low on my magnesium actually I don't even think it's on this chart so I'll base it off a uh, 3.8 on there uh, for my dosing so I'll do a dosing video in a little bit so 3.8 for magnesium which is 760 parts per million and like I said that's a extremely low I know a lot of people like to keep it up almost 1200 so uh, I got ways to go on that one alright guys here's the DHK there's the red color according to the card um, going on the back here I'm looking I've used almost all of it I want to say there's I probably use 9.4 which according to the chart brings me to 13.2 uh, DKH where API had me at DKH at 11 so this is telling me 13.2 and API told me 11 so there is definitely a difference in the test between the Red Sea and the API and I think I'm going to trust the Red Sea on this one. Uh, I'm going to test the calcium next. Um, guys, real quick, I made one mistake on my magnesium. I read it wrong. Um, it's not uh, how much. I, I read it wrong, so I, I caught it this time. It's actually, uh, instead of being 760, I actually use, I have. I use 0 0.78 um, and that's uh, 1560 so my magnesium is at 1560 not 760 so uh, I'll make sure I uh, account for that when I uh, log this alright guys here's my calcium and as I scroll in it's at 0.3 and a half on the plunger so I'll say that's 0.36 use so that's or 0.36 left so that's 1 minus points that's around 0.7472 so I'm around 360 370 um, I'm gonna go with 360 because that's actually what I got with the API as well so I'm gonna say 360. So it looks like the A API calcium is uh almost dead on with the Red Sea. Again, it's all droplets, so it might be hit or miss a little bit here, a little bit there on either test, but uh I would say they're pretty close. I'll say 360 there on my uh calcium. Alright guys. I didn't feel confident of knowing the magnesium, so I retest that. And I'm glad I did because I was actually off. So I'm actually at uh, that 0.4 and a half. So looking at magnesium on the thing. So if we did the whole syringe, it would be uh, one milliliter. So 0.1. If we left in, would be we use uh, 0 0.9. 0 0.2 was left. We use left point. 8.3 was left, we use 0 0.7, 0 0.4 would be 0 0.6, I'm going to say that's a half, so I'm looking for 6.5, which not there, so we'll go with 6.6, .6, which is 1320, that sounds better, uh, magnesium, so 
I think that's more accurate than my first test. So uh, that's uh, 1320. I'll come back with this dosing video, guys. All right, thank you. Hey guys, here I am going to be doing my uh, dosing video now. First off, I decided to start look at the Foundation C, uh, which is the magnesium supplement. Because according to the directions that um, when you're dosing, you should uh, do them with 10 minutes between each other. Do magnesium first, then your athleum, and then your calcium. So let's take a look at magnesium. Now, currently my magnesium level is 320, which on the back of this bottle, which is nice with the Red Sea, they give you a chart right on the back of the dosing bottle. 320 now tells you what, depending on the coral you're using, what to put in. Now, for SPS frags, your ideal is 1390. For LPS's, 1310 and soft and low nutrients SPS's, 1280. So I'm at 1320. I have right now I only have zooanthid and um, yellow sar polyps in there. But I'm, I'm thinking about getting a bird's nest, but I'm not sure if I will or when. So I'm actually not gonna dose for the magnesium. I'm just going to leave it at the 1320 and monitor it as we go. Now if I get a bird's nest at a Reef of Palooza or a, another shop or something like that, I might dose at that time my tests and everything. Alright, so on to the next test, Let's, which would be our alkaline, which is Foundation B. Uh, so... I have foundation B right here and we'll pull it out. And we'll look at on the chart on the back of this. So if we check my system here, my Carbon was at 13, was 13.6. I gotta fix that number with displays here. So 13.6. So if we look back here, again, that's uh, pretty high. So I don't need to dose for that. Um, as you can see here, measured 4.4 to 12.3 uh, is really. I don't need to. Uh, dose for anything so I'm not going to be dosing part B so let's check part A part A is calcium so pull up the nice little cup they gave you pull out calcium if I remember look at my chart again my calcium level 360 so go here and let's see 360 oh, I definitely need a dose for this so if I was doing soft or low SPS's I mean, got 35 LPS is 40 and frags 53 currently we really don't have any frags or anything so I'm just gonna go with the soft so that's low and uh, do the 35 uh, milliliters per 25 gallons so I'll ha I have a 54 gallon tank plus a 10 gallon uh, sump so that's 64 gallons and then you got a Mayan Seer Rarock work so I, I gotta figure all that stuff out and uh, once I get everything for you guys I'll come back but yep that's how I'm going to dose for the calcium so guys here's I had to uh, basically put about 78 milliliters into here in my tank. I already put one cup, which is 50 milliliters, and then I did uh, 25 
and the next plus uh, some extra ones. Now, directions say to put it in your sump, so that's what I'm doing. Pull it right here, pop it right on the and let's see what happens. Alright guys, thank you. Like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think. Thank you. Have a good one.